If the poem has any depth whatsoever, you best believe they reached into their souls to get it. Last foot sound was very much the sound of what people were imagining. It really was a complete, highly developed artistic state. They were so legendary because they went against the system. The whole art of rap, take at least some of its influence from the example of the last poets. It was a revolutionary era. Umar has a way of presenting anything that makes it exciting and interesting. There's always kind of a personal element in it. One of his greatest poems is Niggas Are Scared of Revolution because he's a nigga who's scared of revolution. There's one thing about niggas I do not love. Niggas are scared of revolution. Everything I had been through, the commotion, the love affairs, the disappointment, the successes drained from me and left me empty. To be a revolutionary poet was more or less self-consciously to present yourself as a model revolutionary. And so there's a lot of pressure on you to be invulnerable. That will wear you down. It always fucks me up when I have to go back and say when I took that first hit. It fucked up a lot of my life. You know, give Umar credit that he wasn't quite as self-destructive as he might have been. Later down the line, you see the voids where his presence was missed. Think back to your past and how that made you feel as a man when your father was in there. And that's what you have to do differently now in your life with your kids. You know, for him to say niggas are scared of revolution is a way of saying, don't be scared. Back to the children I had left behind. Once again, to walk with them, to speak with them, to hold their hands. Hoping once again to hear that treasured word come from their mouths. Daddy. Daddy.